Today we are taking another trip around the world with instant ramen cup of noodles. But first, let's start the vlog. Oh no, Superman, you're destroying everything! What's that noise? What's that noise? I thought that I would head off to the Asian market to check out all the different selections of cup of noodles they have. Clean, spicy Korean ramen. Let's try a spicy shrimp. I know this isn't technically ramen, but it's the only one that they have from Vietnam, so we might as well try it. This guy came up with a new one. <laughs> I need to come up with my own ramen too. Let's go with this. Hmm, we have room for two more. And now it's time to do some aquarium maintenance and head off to the gym. Kissing me, caught the blue box, I said Tiffany. Curry with the shots, just tell him to call me Stephanie. Gun pop, then I make my gun pop. I'm the king of rap, young Ariana, run pop. Woo! Since I'm just getting back to the gym after like a week of not going to the gym, I think that I'm just gonna go pretty easy and pretty light. That's the plan. <laughs> Felt good to get back into the gym. Let's get some cup of noodles. Okay, this one was disgusting last time. Let's try something else. Let's try this one. Let's try this one as well. Welcome. Please scan your first item. Enter the number of bags used. Insert cash or select payment type. My body is ready for ramen. Actually, before we head home, let's stop off at the P.O. Box. Oh man, you guys are crazy with the mail. Okay, now we're gonna go home. More mail for Gatsby. Look at this package, 67 Australian dollars. My gosh. I think we have enough. We have gomtong noodles from Korea. Does not look like the typical Korean noodle. It comes with a lot of green onions, and that's about it. And definitely does not look like this picture over here. Right off the bat, I get kind of like a chlorine kind of taste. I don't really like this. This tastes like 10 cents ramen. It kind of tastes like styrofoam. I would probably give this one like a 3 out of 10. Probably better off eating something else. Shin black noodles. We tried this in the previous vlog, also from Korea. The noodles are a lot thinner. Korean noodles tend to have a lot of seasoning. It looks and smells like the regular Shin ramen. It's like an orangey base. Mm. It doesn't quite taste the same. For Korean ramen, I would say that the noodles really make the ramen. And because they're using instant noodles, it just doesn't taste the same. It doesn't have like that creamy noodle quality. It's really just focusing on the flavor of the ramen. It does still taste decent. I would give it a seven out of 10. This is Korean American noodles. I was actually kind of surprised. This ramen looks pretty good. The noodles are round and it's a lot more creamy even though it's really thin. I actually don't think this is that bad. So I would give this one also a seven out of 10. Picante shrimp flavor. 
This is from America. Wow, this one comes with a lot of different packets. This comes with like peppers and stuff. I'm actually a little bit surprised. I thought this was gonna taste really bad. Instant noodles for America is actually not that bad. I'd give this one a 7.5 out of 10. We have Maruchan. This is the Japanese American one. I used to have these all the time. It comes pre-seasoned. This one comes with all the typical little vegetable pieces. I have to say, it's still not bad. I actually like this. They hide the cardboard flavor pretty well. The taste is not that strong but it's just nice and subtle like comfort food. I'd probably give this a 7.5 out of 10. We have this Japanese soy sauce flavor ramen. Two packets. Noodles look standard with a little bit of cabbage and corn pieces. This is like the ramen I'm usually used to tasting. It's a little bit hard for me to rate just because I always eat Japanese ramen. This one's really good, I like it. 8.5 out of 10. We have Mama Instant Noodles. This is a product of Thailand. Look at that, it comes with a fork inside. It also comes with all these things. It smells good, it smells like toast. I think that they were able to capture the flavor of the packet ramen a lot better than all the other ones. I actually like this a lot, an 8.5 out of 10. Plus you get a little fork. Little Cook, also from Thailand. Wow, look at this. The noodles from Thailand come with a lot. This one actually comes with vacuum packed green mustard pickles. What we can conclude already is that the Thailand instant cup noodles, you get a lot. And now that this is done, Oh my gosh, there's like chicken. That's kind of weird. I'm kind of scared to eat this now. The noodles are a lot thicker than regular cup of noodles and it comes with like meat pieces, which look very questionable. The piece of pork. Okay, the pork is weird. Pickled vegetables are not bad. I'd still say it's better than the Korean one. I would give this ramen an eight out of 10. I know this is not ramen, but this is the closest thing they had from Vietnam. This is actually comes in like a yogurt container. Four soup bases. I've never had instant pho before, so I'm kind of excited. Like little chicken pieces, these are like rice noodles. Mmm, it tastes good. It does remind me of pho, except without any of the toppings. I'd have to say the soup base is like really good. But it is kind of cheating comparing it to all these other ramen. So I'm not gonna give this four, but I'd have to say I really, really liked it a lot. The Lucky Me Supreme Instant Noodles from the Philippines. Lucky Me from the Philippines and me have not had a really good relationship as you guys know. The broth looks like a chicken broth and it does have the little chicken pieces like last time. It does taste way better than the packet one that I was trying before. Having said that though, there's so much noodles and the, the flavor is still very, very plain, but the noodle can Consistency is nice. I would give this one like a 7.5 out of 10. Unif ramen from China. Oh, this one's premium as well. And three packets. The Chinese noodles tend to be very value sized and this one is no different. It comes with tons and tons of little vegetable pieces. I would say it tastes basically like the packet ramen. It doesn't have like a cup of noodle flavor. It's not bad. I'd give this one a 7.5 out of 10. And we have the special cup of noodles from Hong Kong. Let's see if this one is any different than the American ones. This one has like little crab pieces inside. Black pepper shrimp smells really good. The flavor is really good. Yeah, surprisingly, this cup of noodle brown, this one's like my favorite one. I wish they would just bring this to America. It tastes really good. So today we learned the Korean cup of noodles aren't as good as their packet version. American cup of noodles are pretty decent in comparison to their packet version. And cup of noodles from Thailand are also really cool. Out of all the ramen that I taste, I would definitely say this one, the Hong Kong flavor cup of noodles is my favorite one. I give these Japanese cup of noodles second place. And the mama ramen from Thailand, Third place. Ugh. I feel sodium wasted. I seriously need to detox after all that ramen. Ugh. <sighs> I thought that I would share with you guys a sneak peek at a project that Gatsby and I have been working on for the past month. And the news is that Gatsby and I are working on creating a calendar, a corgi calendar, yes. It is going to be put out and sold directly from me and I'm working on it pretty much all by myself with Gatsby. I did a lot of research and I hired who I think is one of the best pet photographers. His pictures are incredible. We spent like an entire month brainstorming ideas for every single month. And before I got sick over the past few days, driving around all over the Bay Area after doing lots of research on the different locations. You ready, you guys? Walk in, walk in. Off to the next location. <laughs> now we're on the roof with Sean. Hey. Yeah. 
That restaurant's called the best Chinese food. Congratulations. Next, we're headed off to Battery Spencer. Gatsby has his beauty dish here. <laughs> we're gonna take photos with him. Grabbing all the props, climbing up the hill. Things we do for a calendar month. I wanted to make a calendar full of shots of Gatsby in motion. I didn't just want him posing or sitting in each shot. So each image looks super unique and captures Gatsby in the middle of an activity. Each picture that is incorporated in the calendar took many, many, many hours to set up and get correct. It was no easy process. And we took a lot of composite shots, which will be really exciting to see once they are completed. We are doing a special poster inside of the calendar as well. And finally, the calendars will come shipped to me where I and my friends will be shipping them out to you guys in the holiday season coming up. So hopefully all of this can come together. I'm just like shocked at how good the pictures have turned out so far. It'll be so nice to hang this calendar. You can see Gatsby smiling and giving you good feelings all year round. Good job, Gatsby. Yeah. It's a wrap. He was really You're a trooper. Great so many treats. How many treats were consumed? Like five bags of treats all together. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it time to go potty first? That's the perfect spot. Damn, Gatsby, back at it again with the white paws. I wasn't gonna open any mail in the vlog, but since we got so much, I thought that I would just open these really quickly. Vivek from Richmond Hill, Ontario, Canada. This is from Melissa from Canada. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Melissa. From Victor from Ammon, Jordan. <laughs> Natalie from Sun River, Oregon. Woo! Thank you so much, Jackie and Naramju. Dan from Australia. They spent $67 sending me this. I hope it was worth it to you. Oh my gosh, look, Tim Tams for days. I can do so many Tim Tam slams with this. Mini dog treats for Gatsby? Chomp and Chew. Vegemite, yeah. Oh, and the clothing brand that I wear. Strong liftwear clothing. These are the ones I wear to the gym. Wow, Dan, thank you so much. Thank you so much to everyone for sending us all these great things. My heart, thank you so much. Is it time to go to the park? Because you deserve it, Gatsby. Okay. Coconut oil. A lot of people even notice, they're like, Gatsby's teeth are so white now. It's because of the coconut oil. I'm gonna go to Chipotle, see ya. I've gotten Chipotle 11 times for the past two months, and if I can do it, get 11 for three months in a row, I will get $240 in Chipotle. So I basically make back all of my money that I spent on Chipotle. <laughs> Well, I'm a little bit of medium. I heard the sound and I thought it was the ice maker making ice and it turned out the shelf broke. There wasn't even anything on the shelf barely. It was just like an onion and like nothing. At night I'm always, always craving something fruity and juicy. So watermelon is like perfect. My body is still recovering from all that sodium I had earlier today. Like this one. This one, play with me. Play with me. Please, sir. Can you play? Go. Good job. If you enjoyed the ramen tour, make sure to check out my playlist. Thank you so much to everyone for being super patient with me while I was getting better from my cold. I am so excited about the calendar. We'll be vlogging it the entire time. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Today's special ingredient is avocado. Avocado. <laughs>